Do you know what a dual plane BBL is? Well, if you don't, you're gonna wanna watch this. This is cutting edge BBL. We're talking about BBL safety, how to get the best results in the safest way is through a dual plane. Watch this video to find out more. Maximal projection. We want this line to be smooth. Not everyone lipos in the key area. Hey, it's Dr. William. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Mask, season four, BTM. So remember I said I'm gonna become a little bit more sophisticated with season four. I'm gonna be talking about things that are maybe a little bit more complicated. I'm assuming you've watched seasons one, two, and three, and those are some of the basics. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. I'm not trying to make you a plastic surgeon, but I really want you to understand what we do. I think it's a fundamental reason before you have surgery, you need to know what's happening. The more educated you are, the better your recovery is gonna be. If you have a complication after surgery and you know that's a potential for you, it's better after surgery, like, oh, okay, I know that. So understanding the whole process is really important prior to having surgery. And here tonight, we're gonna to be talking about BBL safety. This is a very big topic, not only just in the plastic surgery community in the country, particularly in Florida. What is the whole issue with BBL safety? Here, bear with me. This is a person laying on an OR table and they're face down, so their butt is up in the air. This is their skin, the fat is below it, and then this is the muscle, the gluteus muscle. So way back when, when we were all trained to do BBLs, we used to inject below the muscle and we used to inject above the muscle. So we used to inject fat here, here, and here. Well, why did we inject fat in the muscle? Because the muscle blood supply is great. And so we wanted to give the fat a nice, rich blood supply home so the fat would survive and grow. We wanted to inject the fat below the muscle because if we're having a harder time expanding this upper area, just the skin, what we call the soft tissue, the skin and the fat, sometimes this wouldn't move we'd be able to inject below the muscle and sometimes we'd get more projection. So if you really look at the BBLs that were done a long time ago, when we were injecting below the muscle, in the muscle and above the muscle, you got some pretty dramatic projection. Uh, I was never a huge fan of that. I've always liked a more natural look. What's wrong with injecting in the muscle or below the muscle? Well, people died. And the reason they died is because of the veins, fat being injected in the veins. So the big veins run below the muscle, course through the muscle, and they get smaller as they go up, and they, be, they kind of finish as they come through the muscle. So if we were injecting below the muscle, we could inject fat right here. And it's a vein, so that blood going back to your heart, and it gets pumped to your lungs, and that, that was a problem with patients getting fat emboli. Same thing with injecting in the muscle. So now what we do is we don't inject in the muscle, we don't inject below the muscle. We're injecting everything above this muscle. And like all the muscle in the body, there's something called fascia. And that's very important for your body and it's very important for this story. There's a fascial lining that lays over top of this muscle, the gluteus muscle. This is the, the big muscle in your butt. So there's a layer of fascia here. Now fascia, remember, is just a very tight, strong material that covers muscle. If we didn't have any, any fascia, we would just be a bowl of jelly. So the fascia is what really, you know, it's keeping our skin connected to the, the muscle, it's keeping the muscle connected to the bone, it's covering, it's wrapping everything up. It's the real supportive network of our body. So what's really happened is we're injecting now in two locations. And so I kind of think of the BBL now as sort of like the breast in some ways as what, we, uh, what I call a dual plane. So we know if on ultrasound you see this bright line that's lighting up above the muscle, if we stay above that, we're good. It's safe to inject. And then what we do is we inject the fat here in this layer. 
and this layer will start to move and give you a augmentation of your gluteal area. We also inject, and the reason I call it this dual plane, is we're also injecting in another layer above another layer of fascia. This is a different layer of fascia. This is a superficial. Anything that's closer to the skin is superficial. Anything that's towards the muscle is deep. So there's this deep fascia here that covers the muscle, and there's a more superficial fascia that is present that gives strength to the skin. So we inject fat above that. This plane here doesn't expand usually as easy as this plane does. So I'm principally trying to put fat into this area to get the expansion and then we top it off, we can smooth out little dimples, cellulite, uh, get a little bit more volume, make some little tiny corrections here and there by injecting in this more superficial space. Now here we're in the operating room and, and I can show you in real time what's happening. Um, and this is ultrasound probe. You hear so much about the ultrasound, but I don't think ever, anyone really talks about just how to use it. It's, it's pretty simple. And there's a little bit of gel here so we can see the images through the gel, you have to have something wet to transmit it. And so we just look at the anatomy here and you can see what I was talking about earlier. So you can see down deep here, there's that deep fascia and you can see the muscle. So it's really clear. This upper part here is the fat and this lower part here is the muscle. So this white line right here is, what sep is, is the deep fascia, and that's what lays right on top of the muscle. So we just want to be above the deep fascia. We know that if we're above the deep fascia, it's going all along here, we're safe. And we're not going to be injecting in the veins, and we're not going to be damaging the veins, and we're not going to be anywhere near the veins. And so all the business part of the operation happens up here in this superficial layer. If you remember, anything close to the skin is superficial, anything down in the body is deep. So that's the superficial fascia there. So it's skin, then you've got the subcutaneous fat, then you have that superficial fascia layer. And then below that is more fat until you get here. And right here, that's the deep fascia. And you see how the muscle looks different? See if I compress a little bit here, you see how the muscle has those striations in it? Because the gluteus muscle basically looks like a flank steak. It's got those striations like your pec muscle has in it. And so that's the deep fascia. So we stay here above this line. And the dual plane is really important because if you look here at the screen, you'll see the upper part is not as expandable. And so I'm just going to put my ca um, cannula in here. So you'll see that that fat there, it's below that upper fascia. Okay, so we're in between those two layers of fascia. That's exactly where we want to be. You can see that big fat right there. It's really nice. And then we're going to go through and I'm going to inject all this area here, staying above the fat, all this area here. It's going to be look like this. It's going to be all full of fat. And we're going to be in both planes. Once I finish this plane in this, in between the superficial fascia and the deep fascia, then I'm going to go up and inject more superficial just to see how much fat and how much distension we can get there. But that's it. That's the ultrasound. It's very simple. That's why I think all of this now should be called a dual plane um, because we're injecting in those two levels. Now, one final point is you really have to be doing the BBLs with ultrasound. And if you're not using an ultrasound, you really can't figure out where these two planes are. That's why it's absolutely imperative to use the ultrasound because we can see where these lines are. Because if you're not using an ultrasound and you're just hoping, hey, I don't wanna be deep so I'm gonna stay really superficial, the problem is you're really only injecting the fat in this plane. And when you inject the fat only in that plane in order to be safe, then what happens is this just doesn't expand very much and you get a lot of flatness. Now there's some people that still will have flatness even though 
we're injecting both planes. That's a separate issue. But if you're just injecting above this superficial fascia here, you won't get very good expansion. You won't get very good volume. You have to inject in both of the planes. And in order to find out where the planes are, you have to use ultrasound, which is why we use ultrasound nowadays in order to really be safe, but also to visualize where we're putting the fat so you get the best result. That's it, that's a wrap up for this episode of Behind the Mask, season four. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, you can DM me through Instagram or TikTok or leave a comment on YouTube. I love to hear the comments, I love to hear the questions. Anything you have to say, please, by all means, let me know. Turn on your notifications, turn on your, or subscribe to it. I want you to be able to see all the episodes. I put a lot of effort into season four. I want you to learn. I'm passionate about teaching and I want you to get all the information. I'm making these videos so that you understand. Please, thank you so much. Have a great day.